Sonic, you're listening to the voice of HGS. Uh, but during COVID, I think we've all experienced life so closely, have seen a lot, and also adapted to the new ways of working. Uh, pandemic has really shifted the priorities significantly in terms of seeking employers where they prioritize well-being, offer flexible conditions, and align to the personal values. I call it actually the talent chief, mm-hmm. uh, where everyone needs the best of the best talent in the organization. But in order to have that, I think uh, organization needs to emphasize its adaptability to the progressive culture. You know, a lot has changed in the past five years. Influencers need to be called creators now, I hear. (laughs) Uh, The gig economy said, hello, it's my time to shine. And we as a collective battled a whole pandemic, COVID-19, remember that? Well, adding to that list of changes is a general shift in priorities of today's workforce. Welcome to HGS Sonic, everyone. I'm Ahalya, keeping you company. And from purpose to cost of living to the importance of mental well-being practices, professionals of today choose their place of work based on a few key criteria. Well, all this is according to a recent survey, and we thought, why not take the conversation a step further? You're joining us on a two-part exploration of what the workforce of today is looking for. We're going to hear from those who are in the thick of it, and we're starting with Shantala Brahmadev's thoughts. Stay tuned. Hi, Shantala. Thank you so much for being here. Um, pleasure having you on the show. Thanks, Ahalya. It was nice. It's nice talking to you. Absolutely. So, you know, I did talk about the last five years in my introduction, Chantla, and that's very specifically also to do with, uh, you know, five years ago and what the workplace looked like versus now. So, you know, technically that's pre-COVID, right? And the present. So what do you think uh, as someone who's in the world of HR, you know, constantly looking out for good, new, fresh talent, what's changed about the priorities and the needs of talent in the workplace today? And do you believe from your own experiences that young talent look for uh, and prioritize things differently today? Uh, A fantastic question and thanks for that question. It brings a lot of perspectives, right? Uh, Five years ago, uh, which is pre-COVID, stability, career growth and compensation were the primary drivers for talent. Mm -hmm. Uh, But during COVID, I think we've all experienced life so closely, have seen a lot and also adapted to the new ways of working. Uh, We were exploring in the initial days of the COVID in terms of how do we work? How do we kind of uh, work virtually, you you know? Had you asked me this question five years back, uh, I would have thought that, you know, working as an HR and a HR business partner virtually, would it be possible or not? My answer would probably be maybe, may not be types. But yes, of course, we've adopted to the new ways of working, right? And then a lot of things have changed during the COVID times. Uh, One of the uh, articles published by Harvard, uh, they had actually given some statistics. During COVID, I think uh, the number of meetings which has increased is by 252%. The chats that we do is increased by 32%. Mm -hmm. And yet alone in 2021, there were 6 billion emails that were sent. It tops the amount uh, that we have spent virtually. Uh, While working on the virtual environment, the factors that I mentioned before, like career growth, compensation, stability, all of them will continue to be important. But young talent is looking more, you know, on the work-life balance, mental health support and sense of purpose. Uh, Pandemic has really shifted the priorities significantly in terms of seeking employers where they prioritize well-being, offer flexible conditions and align to the personal values. These are some of the shifts that I've seen in the talent uh, today uh, who are seeking in their employers. You know, it's fantastic to have that uh, kind of perspective from you, given that you're really in the thick of it more often than not, (laughs) uh, Shantala. (laughs) But, you know, when it comes to attracting the right talent, uh, it's also important to, you know, think about how it's going to help the business progress, uh, you know, on a whole. So what do you think are some of the biggest changes that need to happen uh, that a workforce has to undergo in order to, you know, I would say keep up with today's workforce rather than the other way around? Uh, I call it actually the talent chief, Mm -hmm. uh, 
mm-hmm. uh, where everyone needs the best of the best talent in the organization but in order to have that i think uh, organization needs to emphasize its ad- adaptability to the progressive culture right, right. Uh, when one must showcase the opportunities that they can offer for professional growth personal growth highlight the commitment that we have for employees well being and also offer uh, flexible working arrangements right. uh, most importantly i think the sense of purpose if we can show it to the young talent that's where they will associate uh, to any organization that they want to work with uh, additionally integrating technology and innovation because that's the daily bread today uh, which will help in terms of improving our daily operations Pro- promoting you know sustainability and corporate social responsibility that makes more appealing for today's talent yeah absolutely um and speaking of you know you brought up the word innovation and i think it's extremely important in today's day and age to bring innovation into every single aspect um of the workplace right including uh, talent attraction uh, and retention so at hgs um what do you think are you know some of the most innovative ways we've sort of changed our hiring practices um and you know on the talent acquisition strategy front as well okay uh one of the practices which stands out right now in my mind is uh using of ai driven recruitment tools okay uh you know these tools which we use not only helps us identify the right talent but it also removes the unconscious bias in the hiring practices right right uh you know technology helps us in many ways by leveraging ai Uh, we are able to match candidates with the roles that they actually aspire suits their skill sets and also their career aspirations uh, this is actually making the process more efficient and effective and it helps our talent acquisition team in in, in large landscape Absolutely and uh, finally to bring the conversation to a close I think we've learned a lot about how HGS itself as an organization is doing things but also in the larger conversation of uh, you know talent attraction acquisition in today's day and age what needs to change but one last question to you again as someone who's often in the thick of it uh, what do you believe are some of the strategies that we're going to implement or we have implemented at HGS that are going to help us uh, attract the best talent uh, in the world for our organization i mean wonderful question because it's very relevant right now and uh, we are in the thick uh, of hiring uh, today uh, see as an organization uh, in hgs we've adopted a more holistic approach of hiring right. uh, where we don't just focus on skill and experience but uh, mostly on the potential and the culture the culture fit is actually the most important ones because the skills can be developed technologies can be taught but culture is something that has to be ingrained and that is something that we really focus today uh, our strategy is actually to attract talent we do a lot of emphasis on the employee value propositions highlighting our commitment to you know diversity and inclusion providing flexible working conditions and also the learning opportunities in the organization we've also enhanced our digital presence to engage with our potential candidates in all possible digital platforms because right it's important in today's uh, talent because they are everywhere whether it's insta twitter so we we have engaged and uh, our commitment in terms of you know providing what we speak in terms of flexible environment is always shown there Okay fantastic well thank you so much Shantala for being here and for helping us do this deep dive into you know what today's workforce really needs to look like and the space that we need to provide uh, to the talent that we'd so like to attract it's been a pleasure having you on Sonic Thanks Ahalya all for all the wonderful questions. Well that was extremely insightful but from one perspective right it's important for us to uh, make note of all of the voices and of course how could we miss out in this exploration the voices of those who are today's workforce. So stay tuned for part 2 everyone this is me Ahalya signing off HGS Sonic will continue to so keep your eyes wide open.